Demi Ariba is Loki, and will explode in the second half of the year, returning with Sword Rose and Kinky King Grang. I don't know if you have noticed that this year there is a hot top star who has never appeared. She has neither participated in variety shows nor launched new dramas, keeping an extremely low profile. Yes, it is Delia Ariba. Last year, two dramas were launched in succession, one of which was Public Prosecution, which combined industry elements with suspense. Delia Ariba and Tong Dui Kuo starred, breaking their respective comfort zones. Another costume drama annual biography brought Delia Ariba back to her strong field, and the beauty of costume styling reached a new peak again. In addition, there is Flowers and Youth, which not only made Delia Ariba gain a lot of passers-by's goodwill, but also greatly improved her personal reputation. However, in the first half of this year, Delia Ariba disappeared on the screen. But don't rush to act, Delia Ariba is quietly accumulating strength and preparing to explode in the second half of the year. There are two highly anticipated dramas to be broadcast this year that are worth watching. One of them is Sword Rose starring Jin Shijia, which tells the story of a female policewoman. A fantasy suspense drama called Zayoki Queen Ran. At present, the drama has officially announced that it has been completed, which means that the day of its launch is not far away. Judging from the feedback from the audience, this trailer is very attractive and makes people can't wait to watch it. D. Liba's home court is finally back. Crazy criticism of the too strong, the character setting is impressive, and the oriental fantasy drama is coming. I believe that after watching the latest trailer, the audience will have a strong curiosity about the type of drama Zayoki Queen ran. From the perspective of perception, the film combines multiple elements such as adventure, strange stories, suspense, etc., frequently interspersed with large-scale shots, and there is no lack of emotional drama between the male and female protagonists. Indeed, Zayoki Queen ran is a work that integrates multiple elements into one, and its story is mainly divided into four different stages. The early stage mainly depicts the real life of the protagonist. Next is the contest between the Turban Army and the Night Owl. In the middle and later parts of the story, the focus is on the cooperation between the male and female protagonists, as well as the delicate details of their gradual affection and the process of getting along. The real climax, that is, the final chapter, is the direct confrontation between the two hostile parties. The original work has a very good control of the rhythm of the story. As long as the drama version does not destroy this when presenting it, even if it directly copies the plot, it can better show the advantages of the plot arrangement. Whether the final ending of the script will be like the novel, and the past will be brought up again at the end stage, depends on the way of adaptation. However, whether it is to end after the climax of the duel between good and evil, or to leave an unfinished suspense, it seems to be a desirable choice at the moment. After all, judging from the quality of the trailer, both the scene and the characters have been restored as much as possible. If it can end directly, it can not only ensure consistency, but also leave room for expectations for possible sequels. The character setting is undoubtedly a highlight of this drama. The heroine Naiji Yuluo, played by D. Liba, has the shadow of the heroine of C-10, but she is more crazy and colder than the heroine in C-10. The trailer not only shows her wonderful action scenes of swinging a knife like the wind, but also shocking scenes of beheading opponents one after another and blood splashing everywhere. This heroine is completely different from the characters we have seen before. She has the temperament of a femme fatale and a hint of kindness. The character setting of the male protagonist Yam Tuo, played by Chen Zing Su, is relatively complex. He experienced misfortune in his childhood, but his strength is still very strong. In order to achieve revenge, he endured humiliation and showed a typical image of beauty, strength and misery. In the trailer, Yang Tuo kept punching the glass with his fists, and blood gushed out. He, like the heroine, is the kind of person who disregards his life once he goes crazy. It can be imagined that putting the two of them together will definitely create fierce sparks. At the end of the new version of the trailer, Naiji Yuluo said to Yam Tuo meaningfully that it is always easier to invite people than to send them away. However, Yang Tuo did not waver and responded calmly that he is an expert in sending people away. The confrontation between this powerful combination is really exciting. Delia Ariba is arrogant and cold. Chan Zingsu is handsome and stylish, and fans are ecstatic. Just from the cast of this drama, it really makes people feel that the characters seem to have come out directly from the original novel. It really suits my heart. Delia Reba plays Naiji Yuluo, known as Crazy Knife. In the novel, her character is set to be in her 20s, with a slender figure, long black hair that sets off her cold white skin. 
Although her appearance is not dignified, she exudes a charming temperament in her every move. Isn't this the best portrayal of Delia Reba's beauty? Naiji Yulo is different from the traditional beauties in previous Chinese dramas. Not only does she have a stunning face, she also has the unique temperament of a cold killer. In the trailer, Delia Reba has a high braid, and her plump head shape and slender neck make her three-dimensional facial features more prominent, showing a flawless face. Even if you just tie your hair casually behind your head, the two long strands of hair that fall gently outline your face, and you can also reveal a sharp breath and laziness. When Delia Reba wears long hair, she shows an exceptionally fresh and goddess-like temperament. The costumes, makeup and props design of this drama really fully tapped her diverse charm. Looking at Chen Zingxu again, we already know that he is tall and handsome, but he has always lacked some hot popularity in the domestic entertainment industry. This is also because the characters played by Chen Zingxu are either extremely heart-wrenching or intertwined with darkness and light, which cannot match the appeal of the protagonist. Therefore, whether Chen Zingxu can become popular depends on whether he can meet a good role. In Zioki King Gran, the role of Yam Tuo undoubtedly provides Chen Zingxu with a broad performance stage. Not only can he accurately show the inner emotions of the character, but the careful design of costumes, makeup and props also adds a lot to his performance. Dressed in black, he is cool and mysterious, wearing a suit, he is refreshing and domineering. When he is in the same frame with the powerful Di Liba, he is not inferior, showing a momentum of equal strength. Chen Zingxu finally ushered in the moment of popularity. The drama Queen Yang Queen Soil can be said to be very clear about the audience's preferences. Just by casting, two big names with strong faces were invited to the same stage. It is really too gentle to my eyes. This is simply the ultimate benefit for those who control their looks. In addition, Zhang Li's villain in the film has also attracted much attention. Her makeup and styling are very colorful. In the trailer, she shows a strong aura of a queen. The old drama Bone Tian's Iaoji is the backbone of this drama and his acting skills are unmatched in the drama. In summary, for the popular top stream, it is not easy to find a drama that suits their style for transformation. Yang Mi suffered a Waterloo because she chose the spy drama Harb in 1944, while Tang Yan successfully countered an act with Flower and returned to the peak. Indeed, it is difficult to predict which type of work is more suitable for oneself. However, one thing is beyond doubt, the image and age match, the acting skills are excellent, and the final effect will naturally not disappoint. At present, it seems that Delia Reba has fully demonstrated these three advantages in The Rise of the Dragon. I believe that this drama will accelerate her transformation process and make her truly one of the powerful actors. Mm -hmm.